morning. Enjoy yourselves today. You know, lately I've been drawn to true stories, women in history, because in my public school education uh, in the United States, I didn't really learn about women in history. And um, so I grew up feeling like women weren't heroic because you don't learn about their heroicism. There are people I know, people trying to help. They have trucks, they have guns, and they want to use the zoo as a way station. Two kilometers away, they're trapped and starving like rats in a cellar. Antonina really didn't under, I mean, she, she wasn't really that aware of what was happening in the concentration camp. She knew that people were dying, um, but she never went into uh, the Warsaw Ghetto. I, I, uh, for research, I did go. I went to Auschwitz just to um, see what it was like to feel the energy of the place. Um, but for me, I started with the source material, with the book. We have room. We could hide them. Bring as many as you can. And Tanina was very inspiring to me because we spend so much time celebrating what a hero is in the aggressive way, you know, a war hero. But also, um, Antonina was a hero whose tool was compassion and love. And how wonderful to be able to celebrate that and say, look at this type of heroism and how special is that to inspire young girls of the world. Oh, the terrible time you must have had. When we first meet Antonina, all she knows and love and trusts are animals. She's very fearful of people. Uh, and yet this woman who fled violence throughout her entire life is now there caring for people who are fleeing violence. German troops come every morning. You can't make a sound. <laughs> what does being a producer on a film give you that just being an actor on a film can't? You know, it's important for me never to feel like I'm separated. I want to feel like I'm part of a group. You know, it's a collaboration, we're all in this together. Uh, and sometimes if you just show up to act, you can feel like uh, you're separate from the crew, you're separate from the director. And I like being part of uh, uh, the decision making and part of the ensemble. What have you been up to in your little zoo?